Hello everyone. Thanks for looking at the work of Robert Reed today. Reed's San Romano Jefferson Red Devil is a painting, but we notice when we look at it that Reed's layering gives it the look of a collage, doesn't it? Um, and he's working in acrylic paint on canvas, um, but that takes a lot longer to dry, so I'm gonna use colored paper and markers today. Um, and I'm starting by creating this background, um, really vibrant color. With these little sort of focal points of orange and red. Then I'm gonna use colored paper to cut out shapes. I'm gonna make some spirals. And I'm also gonna make some green leafy shapes because plants are really important to me. When we first look at Reed's work, his compositions are so good that we were tempted to think that his work is entirely about color and line and composition, right? Um, but then when we learn more, we notice his titles tell us that the work is really very autobiographical um, and we're left to work out the story that he's telling us. So I'm making a work today that is telling a story about me, um, but I'm trying to do it through line and color and shape. Um, so I have these two layers of turquoise and indigo and I'm cutting out this indigo spiral to place on this egg shape. Um, when I'm ready to glue, I want to use a separate sheet for um, applying my glue stick. And I turn the shape upside down, remember? Um, and then I cover the entire back of the piece with glue. And then I carefully flip it over and then place it back on top of my turquoise egg. Sometimes, there's not quite enough on there, and I have to lift up the edges and like reapply the glue stick a little, um, and then push it back down, right? And then I'm putting this one together separately because I wanna tear it into some pieces, um, and I wanted it to be all together before I started. But when I have all my pieces together, then I want to carefully lift up each piece from the top and pile it onto a separate sheet like this so that I'm removing all of the pieces from my composition in the reverse order. And on the top of my pile, I'll have the very first things that I put down, those golden spirals, okay? All right, now, I've got my gluing sheet again, right? And I'm turning my shapes upside down I'm applying glue to the back of each shape and then working to place it so that it works in my composition. And these spirals are an echo of the, the shapes that I drew in the background. Um, but I want them I want them to be complementary, right? I want them to um, to add to, but not exactly repeat. Um, and I'm placing these green shapes so that they sort of direct my eye to the spirals. But I wanna, I'm putting this one gold spiral on top so that the green shapes are sort of embedded. And then I have these little orange crescents and I wanna use those orange crescents to direct my eye again to those red and orange circles that I drew initially. And I can use a little cut off corner or torn off corner of the orange to kind of anchor that corner and you can see that sort of holds it down and I've also added uh, turquoise in the upper left and lower right. And as I'm placing these yellow circles, I start to notice that I don't want whole circles, right? So now I've made them into crescents and I'm placing them sort of around, but I don't want to obscure those orange and red circles I've made. Now I'm placing these black shapes. They're really like disrupting the composition. Kind of an intrusion, I think. And I'm bringing in my turquoise egg again. 
and find places to put it to feel right. And I'm going to lift up this green leaf and stick this one behind a little bit. And then maybe I'll place just a couple more black shapes. Do a little more layering and I'm done. I'm trimming off the edges. All right. Enjoy your art making today. We'd love to see what you do.